Okay. Off we go. Let's see what's at this planet. Ooh, I love having all my thrusters and turning things in front. It's so amazing, it's so amazing. So much easier to control the ship. Ooh! No, no, a scan. Ooh, it's a rainbow world. Ooh, this is this is big, big bucks. Well, to the uh, Melnorme. Ooh, yeah, I can't, uh, I mean, I could go down there. It's only, it's four lightning, two earthquakes, so. I could. Oh, no. I did not look at the temperature of the planet. It was a little high. It's a little high. Okay. Cool. We should go turn that in. Get some life form data. Or credit from Melnorme. Melnorme would be more accurate. The Ari Lulangle are a mysterious race of IDF beings. IDF meaning interdimensional fatigue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They do not reside in this galaxy, or in fact, anywhere in this universe. Really? While it is true that the Arilu are rarely seen far from the Columbe star group, uh -huh. they do make regular secret visits to your world, and oh. have done so for centuries. Those Ever jerks. Ever Earth was stage-shielded, they have focused their attention on the humans aboard the Starbase. Oh, okay. Many of whom are now members of your crew. Oh, really? That's cool. Though the Arilu Lale always smile and are never overtly hostile, uh -huh. we believe that they have a secret agenda which somehow involves your planet Earth. These secret plans a secret, may say. or may not cause grief and woe. May or may not. Uh-oh. 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 What's behind me? What's behind me? No. No. Go away. No. Okay. I can't really... Uh, mm, I have all of my thrusters, but oh no, I can't run around. No, 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 no. I can't turn. Oh, crap. Let's, let me guess. It's a probe, right? It's a probe. Yeah, it's a probe. Yeah, let's just fight. Um, I'm gonna lose my ships, aren't I? Come on, come on. Fire, 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 fire! Oh, what? Oh, crap, I'm doomed. I do not have a new ability with those things. Okay. Number two! Energize. Oh, okay, almost. Oh, thank you. See, if I would have got those two shots originally, it would have been fine. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the inter interdimensional portal. Okay, so, come on. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're in quasi space. Is, is this where the Ari, Ari Lule, uh, La Lule live? Ari Lule. Okay, I'm guessing that one in the corner is different and special. So let's go visit. Okay, up we go. Up we go. I, I, I know the music's okay, but I think I like the hyperspace music better. Just, just saying, just saying. Okay. Ooh, a planet. Hello, my little one. I oh, am hi. so pleased to see you. Oh, you that's have nice. done well for yourself. Thank you. It is gratifying. That's good. You sound like you know me. Have we met? You are very clever. Yes. I am Ari Lu Lalile. I do. suppose it has been a very long time since you've met one of my kind. I imagine you humans are still very short lived. How yeah, sad. I know. Oh, well, to answer your question, it's kind of we chose to cease our efforts with the Alliance of Free Stars when it seemed that there was no longer any threat to our Earthlings. Wait, what? I am pleased to see that you, from outside the Slave Shield, survived. Thank you. You seem healthy. Yeah. Um. 
Which one? Yeah. Forgive us if we forget the importance you attach to such events as this. Our context is infinitely broader than yours in scope, both in space and time. Oh, Nevertheless, breaking. to please you, I shall try to recall. Okay. Yes, now I remember. Here is the sequence. The Urquan fleets have moved through your solar system, and you are defeated. Your people make the choice not to fight with and for the Urquan. A shield is cast about your world. Uh -huh. Your people are now safe. This really? makes us happy. Okay. The Armada departs your star system and moves toward the remaining Alliance members. Ourselves, the Cyrene, the Yehat, and their adopted Shofixti. The Yehat and Shofixti withdraw to Delta Gorno, but they do not permit the Cyrene to follow. We are content with the flow of events and leave the area to return here. From our perspective, this sequence of events ends here. Okay... Uh huh, I understand. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. Uh, yeah. Soon after the Urquan defeated the Yeha and imprisoned the Cyrene in Beetlejuice, their siblings arrived to initiate the doctrinal conflict. This battle continues as we speak. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Let's see. You said you had much more to give people. Can you be more specific? As you know, we live in a dimension adjacent to hyperspace, which we call quasi-space. Uh -huh. Our ships move between these dimensions through weaknesses in the interdimensional fabric. Although many such weaknesses or portals exist, which lead from our dimension to quasi-space yeah, to various notice. locations in hyperspace, there is only one naturally occurring portal which will transport a ship from hyperspace to quasi-space. Yeah, found that. We therefore find it convenient to generate our own portals artificially with focused dimensional fatigue rays. Oh. As a sign of our long-standing relationship with your species, yeah. we would happily fit your vessel with a portal spawner of its own. Oh, thank but you. your ship is so massive, our units would be ineffective. However, we suspect you may find a sufficiently powerful warp pod, a key element in a portal spawner, in the wreck of the Earth Corn Dreadnought on the seventh world at Alpha Bobonis. Bring that warp okay. pod back here, and we will prepare a portal spawner for your vessel. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, I'm okay with that. We are an endlessly curious species. And mm -hmm. we spend much of our time on, how should I say, reconnaissance missions. Okay. During one such trip, we witnessed the crash landing of an Urquan dreadnought on the surface of Alpha Pavonis 7. Normally, uh, when the pod Urquan is. vessel is disabled, it automatically engages self-annihilation Oh my god, really? To prevent other species from learning the Urquan's technological secrets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In this case, however, these circuits must have failed. Obviously. The dreadnought did not disintegrate on impact. We landed to explore the wreckage and were amazed to find a survivor, mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. talking pet. Aww. As you may know, the Urquan used these non-sentient creatures for the task of interspecies translation. Yes. The task the Urquan find ultimately demeaning. The talking okay. pet was severely injured, and we did what we could for the poor creature. Mm -hmm. But it grew mm -hmm. clear that without superior measures, the talking pet would die. We turned to the Unga, whom we have known for many centuries. Their bioscience skills are far superior to our own. That's they what I've heard. promised to do what they could and let us know how the pet fared. We have not heard from the Unga since. Oh. Perhaps if you are traveling through their stars, you can ask them for us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Um, yeah, I probably Goodbye, should say that. Goodbye, clever child. Okay, we need to get a warp pod. Um, this one, I, I'll try this one. All these will pop us out somewhere in the universe. Okay, back home, back home. Hi. 
I hope the battle fares well, Captain. You know. I have some information I think you should hear. Okay. We're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfat homeworld at Alpha Tucane. Oh, God. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. Uh -huh. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help, black destroyer, planet under attack, help, worse than Zebranki, oh whatever my God, that no. means, and finally, help. So they also, need help. we have a major situation, Captain. As of a few days ago, all Spathy starship captains have vanished from our starbase. What? We don't know how or why, but until we receive replacements from Spathywa, you will be unable to commission any additional Spathy eluder vessels for your fleet. Oh, crap. Oh, God, I gotta go check on the Spathy now, too. What are they up to? They probably, they probably backed out of the deal. Spathy. Wow, you really hit the mother load this time. Oh, thank you. I did. I did. Bring back lots of minerals, Captain. I just did. You, you just never, you never, you never pleased. You never pleased. Okay, what we get here? Let's see. Yeah, I could probably use some fuel. Spend my harder money on fuel. Okay. Uh. No. Eh? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. More guns? Maybe? No. More defense? Uh. Tracking system. That's probably best. Okay, there goes all my money. God, those are expensive. Yeah. I'm good in crew. I could probably use some more, more uh, ships, but... Okay, let's go check on some things. Engage. Mm. Yeah, where did the... Yeah, this, okay, the spath you were right there, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. We got we got the spathy homeworld. Okay. Uh, let's go figure out what they're doing. No, past it, past it, back, back, back. What did they do? Oh, those little... Those little jerks. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the moon. What did they do? Let's go scan surface. Okay, one mineral. Okay, it's purple. That's cool. One energy. No biologicals. Okay, well, let's go get the purple, because that's worth a lot. Come on. Uh, now I'm going too fast. For okay, there we go. Ooh. Report from surface. Captain, this is Lieutenant Robinson. Sir, we have located an alien artifact down here. Uh, perhaps more importantly, we have found something which I think may explain what happened to the Spathy. And I don't think you're going to like it. Uh, we were investigating a large blue machine when Officer Talbot discovered a message glued to the side of the device. Sir, it's a note from the Spathy High Council. I'll read it to you. The Humans, how are you? We are fine. However, uh, uh, can we thank you for the le letting us study your plant's Earth Slave Shield? Admittedly, it took us some time to replicate the technology ourselves, but we are simply delighted with the results. Yes siree, we love the idea of putting an impregnable shield around our planet. Now, all those evil monsters that we're just about to attack won't be able to eat us. Thanks. 
I guess this means we won't be able to send you any more starship captains. Sorry. Well, they want to, <laughs> they want to turn on the shield about now. We're gonna <laughs> we gotta get going. I'm sure we'll never talk with you er again. So goodbye and thanks again, your friends, the Spathy Ruling Council. P.S. This machine is the super powerful hyperwave caster that the Umga used to tr trick us into believing that the Grand Master Planet Eater uh, were coming to destroy us, Bathiwa. Uh, we think maybe you'd like to have it. I mean, okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, where are we going next? Uh, we got Alpha Bonus. Yeah, let's go find that. Let's go find that. Eh, eh. Uh, up here? Beta Pavonis. Alpha Pavonis, there it is. Okay, that's where the warp pod is. Okay, yeah, we'll go there, we'll go there. Do, 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 do. There we go. God, that took a while. Engage. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna guess we'll start the middle we'll start the yeah, the first planet and work way out. Okay, I'm guessing it's not here. Hopefully not. Nope. Cause it's a little it's a little not nice there. Kind of warm. Kind of icky. Kind of lightning, light, lightning y. I don't like that. Okay. Second planet is over there. Oh, oh crap. I don't want to go up. Oh, let's go to the third planet instead. It's right here. Eh, down. Cross your fingers. Okay, um, no, nothing's here either, but, oh no, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Fine, I didn't need things anyway, that was just a pipe dream. Okay, now we actually do have to go over second planets, crap. right here. Yes! Um, ooh, it's a little warm. 778 degrees. Okay, nothing's here. So, probably not going down the planet. Fourth planet. Okay, this plant looks warm too. Yes, it is. Hopefully it's not here. Oh, wouldn't it be great if I could land there? Oh, look at those big, big things. Okay, next plant. Aha! 
Energy. Energy reading. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Oh crap. Quickly get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. Okay. Oh. Report from the surface. Captain, we have fat we have located the wreck of an Urquan dreadnought. The fact that there is anything but a hole in the ground indicates that the vehicle had some engine power left to soften its crash. Most of the dreadnought is just so much alien junk. We have made ho hollows of everything, but I don't think we will find much use of any anyone but the egghead. <laughs> Exotech back in the base. Uh, we have found one piece of equipment which is, is relatively intact. It's a huge hyperspace warp pod. Starboard unit, I think. We will bring it aboard. And a report. Excellent. Now we can go back to Ari Lale and they can make us a uh, interdim interdimensional fatigue ray. The prospect of sharing the easy way with you excites us. I'm if you have glad. found the Urquan Warp Pod, this prospect can be made a reality. Well, yes I did. What a surprise! As we have always said, humans are a most resourceful and clever species. Aren't you? We are so proud of you. Thank but you. don't worry that you shall have to wait. We are prepared. Even now, our technical personnel are equipping your ship with a custom version of our portal spawner device. Oh, thank you. The device is usable only in hyperspace. Okay. Whenever it is activated, the spawner will focus several interdimensional fatigue beams adjacent to your vessel, okay. opening a temporary hole into quasi space. Gotcha. Move quickly through the portal. After your ship has passed into quasi-space, you can choose any of the nearby portals which lead back to hyperspace, Good. thus saving you needless transit time. That's true. Be keenly aware of this fact. The spawner requires a great deal of energy to function. Okay. We estimate that each time you use the device, it will consume 10 of your fuel units. 10 fuel units? Okay. Goodbye, well, thank you. clever child. Bye, Ari Lu. Okay, let's head back. I guess what I have. Your arrival was predicted by really? our soap pistols vibrations oh, that's cool we already know why you are here and what you need from us however etiquette requires that we act as though we are ignorant of your desires i mean that's cool that's cool now what can we do for you i'm glad today? you asked i am glad you asked what would you like to sell captain i have information the units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you credits. Excellent. Ooh, pretty. What great items would you like to buy today? You know what I want? Oh, yes, that's right. New technology. The technology we are now offering includes plans. For adding improvements to your planet landers. Oh god, thank you. Which make them resistant to inclement planet weather. Ooh, that'd be good. A little superconductive spray paint and presto. Seriously, that's your it? Your lander can sustain a direct hit by a lightning bolt without risking the passengers inside. Usually. Usually? Since the job is so easy that a nymph could do it. I expect all your landers will be treated in less than an hour. Thank you. The technology we are now offering is everything you need to know to assemble modifications to your planet landers, oh. which make them resistant to planetary hot spots. Ooh, yes, that would be nice. With these new ablative plasma heat shields, your crew will be substantially safer on hot worlds. But like all our lander modifications, this protection is not perfect. Okay. So remain cautious. Yeah, yeah. Since the changes to your landers are straightforward, 
Your lander should be fitted with the heat shields by the time you return to your ship. Excellent. The technology we are now offering is plans for building Hellbore Cannons. Oh. A weapon much more destructive than a simple blaster. Oh, yeah, that, that I, uh, yeah. Captain, just a suggestion. Uh huh. Hellbore cannons are energy culprits. Okay. So, unless you want to have a long delay between shots. Not really. I would suggest you add dynamos or even Shiva furnaces. Ooh, to your Shiva ship. furnaces. The technology we are now offering. Includes details on how to develop Shiva Furnace modules, <laughs> okay. which generate energy for your combat batteries twice as fast as your standard dynamos. That would be cool, but I'm a little broke. What else would you like to buy? Like I said, I'm broke. Otherwise, I'd love to get more. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. As always, we look forward to your next visit. Thank you. Okay, we need to go back home. I'm almost out of fuel. New hyperspace! Eh. Oh god, yeah. I'm really low on fuel. At least it's close by. Come on, no, oh, come on, past it, past it, past it, past it. There we go. There, oh, perfect, perfect. I'm at your disposal, Captain. Well, thank Before you. we go on, I have something important to tell you. Uh -huh. Good news, Captain. With no announcement, a small fleet of Ari Lu Lolly Lay popped into space adjacent to our star base, scaring the hell out of the deep raider operator. Uh, but right now, poor Chad. I could kiss every one of those pale little weirdos because they gave us three skip vessels. Oh, nice. I actually did need those, yes. If you can keep this up, we'll turn that flagship of yours into a genuine dreadnought killer. Excellent. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, quasi-space portal spawner. Data, device is a hybrid of different alien technologies, including Ari Lu and Urquan elements. Uh -huh. Our tests show that this device temporarily creates a weakness in the fabric between hyperspace and a different unidentified dimension. Cool. The energy cost of this process is extreme, and since the unit's power supply is self-contained, we cannot estimate how long it will remain functional. That's Summary. worrisome. Use of this device will permit a starship to make transit to a different dimension. The hazards and benefits of this process are impossible to gauge without field study. I guess the I next will entry study in the analysis is Subject Hyperwave Broadcaster, yep. UMGA Design. Umga. Data. This unit is capable of generating extremely intense hyperwave transmissions, though it is otherwise similar to our own casters. Summary. This thing would be great for practical jokes. She could scream boo from an orc cloud to scare the pants or whatever off of everyone in the system. If you used it in hyperspace, there's no telling who might hear you and come running. That's the end of our scientist's report. Yeah. Goodbye, Captain. Bye. Okay, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the portal. Ooh, nice. That was cool. Yeah, only cost 10. Okay, that's cool. 
Okay, let's go to... Nah, do I have to go this one? Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, should have popped me in the corner, right? Yes! Okay, so this is where the broadcasts have been coming from, this area, so... Let's go here. Yeah. Vega? Is it Vega? No. Yeah, let's go here. So the pro broadcasts have been going coming from here. Or yeah, that message we got a while ago. Okay, let's go find if we can find a a race of people who may be trying to kill us with probes. I don't like that. No. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Let's test out these new Ugh, come on. There we go. Aha! Yes, I am lightning. I cannot be hit hurt by lightning now. Nice. Oh, okay, earthquakes, still. Don't drive directly on them, try to avoid them, okay. Eh, go over your little weird looking creatures. I need you, I need more stuff. Oh god, I already filled my life form data, yeah. Back down we go. Yeah, get some minerals, just in case. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, t t t stop moving so much. There we go. Oh, this this will give me a Shiva furnace one. It's... <laughs> Here, little fella. Here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop moving so much. Oh, thank you. And we got one more and some, a few more minerals. I might as well get it all. Might as well get it all. Not planning to come back up here again. No. Nope. Nitric acid, yeah, that's... I don't think it's worth a lot, but... I think it's like worth one, maybe two. Here, buddy boy, but you're worth a lot more. Eh, eh, shoot, shoot. Oops, I just blew up the, I just blew up the mineral. No, oh, God, do it. Controller? God, oh. Yeah, I suck at controllers. What? What? Okay, let's go check the next planet. Okay, no one here. Let's keep maybe a scan for energy. Well, minerals. No energy. No. Mm, yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Mm, this one? Mm, come on, this way. Okay, no. Look cold here. Uh, oh, got some life form there though. Aha! Space bugs. Back space bugs. Mm 
<laughs> I'll take this. I'll shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face too. Oh, crap. Oh, I'll grab this. Ooh, space worm. Okay, one more, and then we got two more biologicals. Um, over here. Okay. Third plant done. Fourth plant? Hi, first planet. Bye, first planet. Okay. Check the moon. Okay, nothing good there. There's a little... I can't really land here, can I? Hello, oh! visitor. Oh, hi. We are the Slylandro. I am content to hover, a Slylandro speaker. Content to hover. Your presence what? here fills us with excitement. Okay, that's good. We have good. gotten so few visitors over these many drawn. We drawn? hope you can stay to talk with us for a time. Sounds sounds good. Sounds good. I I am our captain of Earth Starship Horizon. Uh, what the heck are oh, you? This is terribly exciting. We will be happy to tell you about ourselves if you will please, please do the same. You see, we Slylandro have been extremely interested in learning about the galaxy, but our physique makes us incapable of leaving our gas giant home. Oh. Therefore, we are totally reliant on our infrequent visitors to keep us informed about events outside this planetary system. And visitors usually only show up every few drawn. We hope that okay. our newly deployed exploration probe fleet will not only gather information oh. for us, but inform other races of our presence here as well. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. You know, it's funny. We hadn't heard from the outside galaxy in a whole Janasa. And then the NASA may come by and sell us a probe. And just a few hundred locations later, you show up. Oh, the probes? Right. Well, like we said just a short time ago, a race called the Melnor May stopped by. Did they, they now? They said they had acquired some information revealing our existence, and they wanted to study us if we didn't mind. Okay. In fact, the Melnor May said they would pay us for the right to do so. Really? I guess they are biology nuts or something. I guess. Anyway, in exchange for our information, they gave us a probe vessel. Okay, tell me, uh, you, no, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. I want details about the probe. Sure, if you are interested, in exchange for information about the life on source, the Melnor may offer to give us a remote exploration probe. Okay. It would roam the galaxy, gathering information and contacting alien races, and when it had filled its data storage units, uh -huh. it would return here and reveal to us everything it had learned. Yeah. Our probes do not attack. Yeah, they do. They have only defensive capabilities. Nope. Offensive behavior is not part of the instructions we programmed into the probe. I think. To do so would be reprehensible. Yeah, what is the pro probe's program? Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to know what probes program. It was sent on a 500 rotation mission to seek out new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no catalog item 2418 remote self-replicating robot explorer probe had gone before. That sounds familiar. Okay, yeah, well, tell me about the replication we're not abilities. Hardware, people. So we only know the theory. Okay. What happens is that while the probe is exploring space, whenever it's not doing something more important, uh -huh. it hunts for asteroids and similar space junk, gotcha. zaps it into its component parts, absorbs the debris, 
and when it has enough raw material stored inside, yeah. it manufactures a perfect replica of itself. Ooh. So even though we only bought one probe, by now there should be hundreds of probes. Maybe even thousands. Oh, I think there's a lot more than that actually. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure. What would you like to know? I like to know about programming. Uh, let's see. Explain the... Uh, the let's see. Yes, I'd be glad to. You see, the probe has the capability to seek out raw materials, process the raw materials into component compounds, collect the compounds, and then, when it has a sufficient supply, it can build a duplicate of itself. Okay. We decided that since we had only one probe, we should change the replication priority and crank it up so that there would be more probes sooner. Uh, what exactly do you assign well, to? Well, the factory setting was two. Uh, in between movement, at one, and analyze data, at three. I told Joyce Lifting to set it a bit higher. Let me ask him what he set it to. Okay. <gasps> oh, my. That was a bit extreme, wasn't it? What? Joyce Lifting told me he changed it to 999. Oh. The high setting on the dial. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Is a dial? That behavior was hard coded by the Mel Norme. We couldn't mess with it. Essentially, the probe will only fire its weapons if it has been attacked and cannot communicate with the attacker. Um, that's not quite how it works. No. The probe is armed with a battery of missiles. It doesn't use its, it's electrical missiles? discharge device in combat. Yes, it does, actually. That's impossible! It's inconceivable! No, it's not. You screwed the up. electrical you discharge do? device is used only for breaking down raw replication materials. Oh no, I see into it do that too. It blows up asteroids and it gets more energy to blow us up. Sure. It was a difficult task for us, since we'd never done anything like that before. Oh god. But for the most part, we just adjusted its standard program, which went something like scan for targets as defined in target list. Okay. If no current target, then select new target from the current targets list yeah. using specified priorities. Uh huh. If current position is at current target, then set current behavior to new behavior based on behavior priority settings. Okay. Perform current behavior. Okay, that's the basic program. I said it was simple, and here are the tables used by the program. Uh-huh. Target list with associated target priority. Space vessel, five. Transmission source, four. Uh-huh. Astronomical anomaly, three. Okay. Planet bearing life signature, two. Two. Mm -hmm. Raw replication materials, one. Mm -hmm. Probe behaviors, with assigned priorities. Communicate, five. Record data, four. Analyze data, three. Okay. Seek replication materials, nine, nine, nine. Move to current target, one. That's um, it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the way it works is that every time a behavior is completed or interrupted, the program selects a new behavior based on the defined behavior target priorities and what kind of target is currently selected. Okay. I think a really high you priority think? would cause a probe to focus its attention on that behavior. No, it cannot. Yes, it does. It is not programmed for hostile behavior. Well, it is. What is your reasoning? Well, it attacks me, so, you the know. The probe seeks raw materials and processes them in preparation for replication. Yeah. Um. The answer is simple. It would spend more of its time seeking raw materials for its replication process. So what? Like ships? I don't see what you are getting at, but I'll play along with you. Okay, good, thank like you. Like I said, alien ships are the top priority target. Once a probe scanned a ship, it would instantly move toward it. Then, when it got to the ship, mm -hmm. it would initiate communication automatically. When communications were terminated, a new behavior would be selected, and... Uh-oh! Yeah. A new behavior would be selected. Yep. And since the replication setting was set to maximum, uh -huh. the probe wouldn't get time to pick a new target. Yep. It would use the current target, the ship, for raw replication materials. Yeah. It would process the ship, 
break into component compounds with electrical discharges. Oh no! Yeah. What have we done? Oh, you screwed up. Traveler, you must tell us what we can do! How can we stop the probes from destroying all life in the galaxy? I don't know! Um, how to destroy them all? Uh, I'm sure the Melnormate, yeah, the, the Melnormate probably knows something. No. Oh Not yeah, catalog recall item signal. 2418. Remote self-replicating robot explorer probe. The model with the recall transmitter was catalog item 2419. Really? And the Melnorme said it was out of stock. Ow. Uh. Oh, self-struct code. Why, yes, there is. Good. You're a genius, Traveler. Thank you. Why didn't we remember that? I don't know. Oh, there's a problem, though. Yeah? How are we going to transmit the code? Well, while we ponder that problem, at least we can give you the code sequence. Thank you. That way, if you run into a probe, you can destroy it without getting shot. Oh, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um. Well, yeah. Goodbye, human fluid sack. Oh, that'd be so useful.